Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone I'm Fika Megawati I'm here I'd like to present our paper entitled Picture Book It's effect on EFL reading comprehension Well, actually there are three authors from this paper The first is Oktia Wardini The second one is Fika Megawati And then the third one is Yuli Asuti And we are from UMSIDA, Universitas Muhammadiyah Sidoarjo. Thank you for the organizing committee to give me chance to present our paper online for PVG conference, conference from home. This is the introduction. Why do we need to study this particular issue? There are four aspects that becomes the background of the study. The first one is the exposure. The importance of exposure for our EFL learners to reading activities. Uh, when there is no or limited exposure, I believe that our learners uh, will not get improved to their vocabulary and other language skills. And the second one is motivation. What makes them not read the sources is that because they have low motivation one of the factors is that when they have low motivation they are not interested to read okay and then actually there are two kinds of motivation here intrinsic and extrinsic when the students have the higher intrinsic motivation although there are no assignments for them, they will keep reading. However, for those who have low motivation, they will not read for their joy. They will read by design because of the teacher, because of the exam, and because of the reward. That's why here it is the job for the teacher to create innovation to make our students eager to read. How? How to do that? One of the ways is by integrating local culture. You know that in one of the texts given to the students in junior or senior high school is narratives. So we can integrate the local culture uh, through the teacher self-generated material to our students. It will be more interesting for them. However, more research on how teachers have spent their time to generate their own media containing local culture is still limited and it's relevant to explore more. That's why we use it as the gap of this study. Let's move to the literature review. There are several references we have taken, but here we selected two as the anchor references or as the main references, which is from Ilogo and Murni. Those two particular uh, research are very inspiring for us and to the detail there are two, three points of the review literature here the first one is that using picture book to teach 10 graders for senior high school narrative text is relevant or appropriate this is uh, based on the practical issue faced by the teachers and it is one of the opportunity for us to provide evidence that uh, by our study it can be another relevant alternative to teach the students. And then the second one is that picture books are bringing a storyteller in the class to act as a guide for the experiences. As you know that we are as the teachers uh, is uh, okay are expected to be multi-talented one of them is being a storyteller 
as the model on how to teach the narrative. That's why here, picture books assist us to act, to demonstrate of the content of the story. Picture books are really helpful for the teacher. And then the, th the third one is the function of the picture book. It can present local culture as the material for the students in reading class. That's the main point of the li literature review. We go to the research question here. Is there any effect of using picture book towards students reading comprehension in narrative text? That's why the purpose of the study is that to know whether there is effect or not of using picture book towards the students reading comprehension. The method, there are several points that I want to explain. The first one is the design. We use pre experimental design or one group pre test post test. With the sample, the students of private senior high school in Sidoarjo, one of the regency in East Java, you know. And then during the process, before we go to the treatment, there are several steps that we have to do. The first one is the try out, especially to check the validity of the item of the reading comprehension test because test here is the main instrument of our study. We, we need to make sure that our reading comprehension questions are valid or not. And the next one, we also uh, check the validity of lesson plan and worksheet from the expert. There are two experts here. That's why here I I call it expert judgment. We we give them the rubric and they check for each aspect about the content, the accuracy and then the appropriateness of the lesson plan and worksheet for the students. And then the next one is data analysis. The data analysis here is by using t-test. It will be explained later. Well, for the picture book construction, there are seven steps the researchers had to fulfill the first one is selecting legend selecting relevant pictures because at that time we adapted with the video so we need to select the relevant pictures for several scenes after that there is a process for modifying text continuing to the validating picture book here we have one validator to help us make sure that the picture book is appropriate to be applied for the research. And then we got some inputs to revise, then do some revision and give, give it back to the validator until we got approval. After it is eligible, finally we go to the field to give treatment through the picture book in teaching narrative text. Okay, it is the examples of the picture book, Maling Kundang, and the story of Tobalik. We took two famous legends here from Indonesia. And here is the example of the text. There are some revisions for this, and finally, the some parts of the result is like this. Picture book given to the students were entitled Maling Kundang and the Story of Global Lake. Each of picture book had ten questions. The students have to answer based on their comprehension. Let's go to the 
theoretical application here the instruction adapted from Prestantos research but in this case we have fulfilled the initial step the detail is like this the second one is main step And there is no pause step. You know that there is time constraint during the research. That's why uh, this study didn't implement pause step like what previous study did. So, what is the result of the validity check? After we consult to the first and second validator, the result is good and even very, very well, very valid in terms of lesson plan, picture book or the media, and also the students' work sheet. It indicates that what we have done has been validated by the validators and uh, it was carefully assessed before its implementation and let's go to the findings to answer the research question we found that the count uh, was higher than the table what does it mean it means that there is significant effect towards the use of picture book to the students writing, I'm sorry, to the students reading comprehension result, especially in narrative text. Now, hypothesis is rejected. Okay, now we go to the finding. What did we find from this study? Let me read it for you. It is found that the count was 19.412 and the table with 0.05 and the FLU 34 was 1.691. It can be concluded that the count is higher than the table. So what does it mean? It indicates that null hypothesis is rejected. So there is no effect of picture book towards students reading comprehension in narrative text was rejected. It means that this study has given another evidence that picture book is effective for teaching reading comprehension, especially in narrative text. For the, for the discussion, there are four focuses here. The first is the effect of using picture book for teaching support practice research. And then with the skill of generating picture book for the purpose of English learning, teachers can be a model for learners to help them create their literacy source based on their own concept. Back to the introduction that Exposure is important and creating literacy sources is one of the efforts to provide exposure for our learners. And then the third, implementing two out of three step of teaching using picture book can be applied. So different condition, different results we can adapt or adopt previous studies techniques but we can also justify with our own condition if we think that one step can be omitted why not so don't be afraid to uh, make innovation of your teaching technique and then the last one Another important specific word in picture book construction is translation, accuracy, and cultural relevance. There should be multiple checks to avoid misinformation.
mentioned because cultural aspect is sensitive we need to be very careful especially providing the text we need to confirm again and again so that there is no misunderstanding in interpreting the culture Okay, now we come to the conclusion. The conclusion of our paper is that there are three things. The first one is that using picture book as a medium in teaching and learning reading is effective to improve students' reading comprehension, especially narrative text type. And for the second, it is recommended for the next researchers to investigate further especially for the development of picture books for enhancing not only English reading skill but also other potential skills like speaking or writing. And then the last one, it implies that creativity to insert local culture into the materials or media should be given more attention in order to build students' cultural awareness. We know that when our students are aware of their own cultures, it can enhance their nationalism as well as their identity. Well, for the suggestion, there are two important points I'd like to share. The first one is that evaluation to the available picture book can be a prominent issue to provide better quality of the media. In order to raise students' creativity, involving students' participation in designing and producing picture books is a good project to be investigated. So here it is connected with project-based learning. If you teach some courses related to the instructional materials or media development or maybe micro-teaching, you may apply this uh, recommendation and then for the second suggestion for teacher education institution holding a workshop focusing on helping students create their own book is one of inspiring idea for teacher professional development program yeah this is more on the creation the first is about inviting students participation and the second one is about creating by themselves, especially for pre service teachers. Well, that's about the suggestion, everyone. And here are the references. There are 18 references I, we put here with two anchor references, number seven and eight. And here, are the authors. The first one is Miss Oktia, the second one is Nifika Megawati, and the last one is Yuli Astute. Thank you for watching. If you want to have a more discussion, you can contact email to fikamegawati at umsida.ac.id. Thank you everyone. Hopefully what we have done can be beneficial for all of you. And for the next development, we can share each other, we can collaborate more research so that the knowledge can be more meaningful for our generation. Thank you everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.